So, WiMAX and positioning it against alternative cellular technologies is often a question that we have here in Motorola. And we, of course, offer solutions that cross the different cellular access technologies as well as WiMAX. You know, it really depends upon the particular operator, what their service requirements are, um, what kind of spectrum they have access to. Uh, that'll really help them understand how they might choose to bring WiMAX into their access portfolio. You have, in many cases, 3G operators who've made significant investments into procuring the spectrum for 3G operations and made significant capital expenditures into growing their, their networks uh, to support the 3G. And in many of these cases, we expect that they will continue those investment trajectories and continue to build those 3G networks. And what we're finding is that these operators have a great interest in WiMAX as a way to overlay those networks as a way to be able to serve the uh, the data burden in maybe highly uh, congested environments or hot zones. Um, but likewise, you have many 2G operators who are looking for a path to evolve their network. And in these situations where maybe they haven't made the same investments into the spectrum or might not have access to it or may not have made the same investments into the infrastructure, for these 2G operators, WiMAX is a great way to almost leapfrog and get to a more 4G-like service, um, get there to market quickly, and be able to offer differentiated services. But it depends on where your current network is positioned. Now, for a greenfield operation, where you're building a network basically from the ground up, uh, the cost of being able to deploy a WiMAX network is going to be considerably cheaper than many of the alternatives, definitely from a wired perspective as well as many of the cellular technologies as well. However, understanding that operators are going to have existing access solutions, depending on where those technologies are positioning, considering the state of evolution of their network will help them determine how to best evolve it. And that may mean continuing forward on the 3G tra trajectory and using WiMAX as an overlay, or maybe moving to WiMAX as the primary access technology. Absolutely. So the promise of WiMAX is having this open platform, an ecosystem of devices and, and platforms that are basically written off standards-based technology. Um, and what that's going to allow us to do is really see the economies of scale. So you've got major chipset manufacturers who are making their public commitments for the WiMAX technology. We're going to be seeing these WiMAX technology embedded into a vast array of, of laptops and really an embedded base of devices. And when we start developing the technology on an open platform that's standards-based is when you begin to see the real gratification of the economies of scale and the steep reduction in the price points, especially when it comes to the devices. Um, um, yeah, sure. Um, what you're going to find is as we move forward, operators are going to have multiple access technologies in their portfolio. And ultimately what we're really talking about is the end user experience. In Motorola, we look at this experience that we're enabling with mobile broadband, we call it personal broadband. Taking connections that were maybe originally tethered to one or two locations, your office and your home, and being able to wear it with you. Now there'll be multiple access technologies that might support that. You might have cellular, you might have Wi-Fi, okay, you may have WiMAX. And at the end of the day, you're gonna have networks where you have converged core, perhaps empowered by an IMS platform, that can understand the environment you're in and the use case you're demanding and pick the best network and the best device. In addition to having converged platforms that manage multiple access technologies, it'll be important that the devices are also multimodal. But as an end user, it'll be transparent to you. It'll be seamless transitioning, seamless mobility. Sure. Um, Motorola, of course, is building the full suite of applications. Um, we're, uh, we're building the access technologies across the cellular, the Wi-Fi, the WiMAX. We have the core technology that allows us to converge or collapse the, um, the, the operations and management of these technologies. And we're absolutely building the devices that are going to be multimodal and uh, inter-technology capable. Well, so what we found is when we speak about WiMAX, you know, 2006 there was a great emphasis around the development, really bringing these solutions to life. Uh, 2007 we're seeing a great emphasis on actual deployment, and through the course of this year you're going to see more and more of these systems actually coming up around the world and seeing true commercial, um, um, you know, service being provided to end users, consumers, and enterprise. What you're going to find is that the devices that start coming into play are going to be truly multimodal, and many of these operators are considering solutions like IMS um, as you know um, next generation core technologies and ultimately the application suite that's going to be riding over these next generation networks are really going to be able to realize that seamless mobility experience. 
Yeah, I mean, what we find is if you're a wireline operator making your way into mobility, or even a wireless operator, considering solutions like Metro Wi-Fi and mesh capabilities and WiMAX and cellular, you've got multiple access technologies. And what you want to do is make sure you can focus your investment on managing a common, converged core on which you can create a simplified service delivery platform so that as content and applications and services are introduced, you can repurpose it easily across all the access technologies, readily monetize it, and have the end user, again, it be a transparent experience for them. So absolutely, those are the, the types of applications that we're expecting to be able to, to realize. IMS, sitting at the core of this solution, helps us create that uh, um, focused investment uh, arena for, for deploying these next generation technologies.